mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TF TV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana allow me to propose to this august assembly the following issues for consideration in your subsequent discourse first one clear lesson which we can draw from Tanzania's experience is that there are very high initial costs associated with geothermal development, which pose as a formidable barrier to expediting exploration and utilization of geothermal resources in many of our countries. Consequently, I think what is required of us in Africa is cooperation and coordinated efforts in exploration, as well as in soliciting the needed investment to realize this potential. Thus, we call upon the ARGO member states to devise and undertake regional exploration programs. And let us seize this opportunity offered by the conference to do exactly that in order to expedite the development of geothermal resources and thereby hasten our transition from the costly fossil fuels. Second, I think it is also important for each of our countries to have a dedicated institution to spearhead geothermal development together with appropriate legal and regulatory frameworks that can facilitate private sector participation. Third, we propose that uh, ARGO countries should consider having a regular and structured dialogue with the multilateral development banks like the African Development Bank or the Asian Infrastructure Development Bank, specifically to de-risk energy efficiency financing and thereby make private investment in exploration of geothermal resources more attractive. I think this proposal is backed up by the fact that individual national government budgets are insufficient to cover the bulk investments needed in the development phase of geothermal projects. And fourth, I would like to use this opportunity to invite all potential investors to come and work with us in Tanzania in our top geothermal potential sites, and notably Ngozi, which has a potential to produce 70 megawatts. There is also Kie Jombaka, 60 megawatts. Songwe, which has a potential of between five to 35 megawatts, natron, a potential of 60 megawatts, and Luhoi, five megawatts. Tanzania is ready for investment in this subsector, given the uninterrupted peace and tranquility that we have enjoyed since independence in 1961, but also political stability and an attractive investment climate very high commitment to policy and structural reforms under the four R's philosophy of Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, which stand for reforms, rebuilding, reconciliation, and resilience, as well as domestic and international agreements on resolution and settlement of investment disputes to which Tanzania is a signatory. Besides, our country has sustained a robust, robust economic growth above 5% for the post-COVID period, and international credit rating agencies have recently given scores that attest to our debt sustainability and investor confidence. Recently, Moody's gave us a score of B+, B1, with a stable outlook, 
while Fitch gave us a score of B+. Tilt TV na kupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tilt TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tilt TV tupo kijamii zaidi.